Brett, Brett Ratner. Ratner. He is a fuck boy. Brett, Brett fuck Ratner. Boy. Welcome to Drunk Movie Day. We haven't seen you in a bit, and I apologize for that. Don't really have an excuse why. It's not like I do anything other than lie in bed and read the trades every day, just waiting for my name to pop up. But maybe you'll see my name in the obit soon. (laughs) It's summer, which means the big blockbuster movies are coming out hard and fast. We've already got some of the big ones out of the way. Like, and, and who could forget? Let's do this. Let's go to the movies, have a couple beverages, talk about said movie. I have a guest here. She is a repeat offender. She's been on the show before, but she's more famous than ever. She's burning up the charts with her number one hit, Daddy Daddy. No, 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 good, good, good. Keep going with this. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Raquel Belmonte. (laughs) Hi, I heard you were just about to start singing my song. I'll go for it. Big summer movies. Big summer movies. They're all the rage. They are. I heard a lot about them. Blockbusters, franchises, superheroes, dogs, cats, talking, birds, singing, all that stuff. Remakes, reboots, sequels, prequels, squeakquels? Ooh! Elvis! As everyone knows, the big summer movie this year was Avengers Endgame. It was Didn't the culmination it. of uh, 11 years of storytelling, intricate, woven uh, movies, characters that people uh, loved and cherished coming together for the greater good. So today, we're going to see the complete opposite of that movie. Oh. We're going to see the 11th, 12th movie in the X-Men franchise, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Wait, there's another X-Men movie? I always love that reaction. I haven't seen an X-Men movie since the first one. <laughs> when you were like two years old. I was a baby. I was a baby. I loved X-Men. Look, did you see X-Men 3? No. It was the worst X-Men. Well, so they Hugh decided Jack- to redo it. Hugh and it's Jackman. only like 10 to 14 years old. Okay. Hugh Jackman's not in it. Sorry. That sucks. That mm-hmm. sucks. This really sucks. Oh, God. Can Do we- the shot. Okay. Hey, there's still lipstick on this one. That's fun. <laughs> hey. X-Men. Get me out of here. See you later. Get up, let's go. Okay, whatever. The girl dies. She's yucky. X. Yucky. Kinda. Men and women. That's even worse. Hi, everybody. We're back from X Men Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. The... The X-Men movie we all knew existed. <sighs> yes. <laughs> it is, uh, explain to me. So they did do this movie yes. before. 2005 or 2006? Maybe 2007? They did X-Men 3, The Last Stand. I don't know. It just seems weird to do a remake of something. Like, oh, nobody liked that. So it was, I, I guess you, my have question... You, have you figured out Hollywood yet? It's I a don't... mess of gobbledygook. I hear this is this is a fun confession. It's a confession. This way. And I feel bad and I'm sorry, but I don't really watch superhero movies. I've seen some of them. I've seen your Spider-Mans. I've seen your Batmans. Your Batmans. I've seen a bunch of the Batmans. I saw the I saw the one with with Heath Ledger and I saw the ones with what's his name? Michael Keaton. Keaton. Michael Keaton. You're not don't worry, it's fine. Okay. It's fine that you haven't seen a bunch of X-Men. And oh, he okay, these him. guys, Marvel, you need to pick a lane. Who's alive? Well, here's the thing. These X-Men movies are separate from the Marvel movies. Your X-Men, your Captain America. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Okay, someone should have so told me that separate. before. Yeah. Someone should have told me that before. So I look like a big fucking loser. The Marvel movies are now owned they own the X-Men movies now, so they're all going to be one soon. Because Disney owns everything now. Yeah. All hail Disney. You have clearly stated that you know nothing about the X-Men movies. No. Or the characters. No. You're choking yourself. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just like everybody in that movie looked like they were coming whenever they were getting hurt. I will say. 
I will stand by the fact that everybody in that movie, when they were being shot at or hit with laser beams or being strangled by a psychic, was like, they literally said, clench teeth, I'm going to come every time. It was fucking crazy. Raquel, you've said that you haven't seen a lot of X-Men movies since the first one. No. Maybe a little bit of the third one. The so landing. I wanted to ask you now, watching this coherent, well-put-together movie, what each character's powers were. Oh. oh. So we'll start off. 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. I mean, maybe not 30 seconds. Professor X. Professor X, that was the bald one. <laughs> His power was to accumulate all the kids so that they could save the world. There was a- Sounds a, creepy oh, when you say it like that. Well, it's true. Magneto. He's hot. Storm. I don't know, she makes like a storm of shit. She makes a storm. Nightcrawler. What? Cyclops. Oh my god. She just bit those lips to kiss. Mystique. She, um, okay, I don't know what she did in this movie, TBH, except for die. Rebecca Romaine played her. Quicksilver. All the boys I loved in elementary school and high school were Quicksilver. <laughs> it's not a bad, bad movie, but it's not an enjoyable movie. The ending fight scene was badass. It was like Magneto was throwing metal into people's fucking necks. That was cool. Fucking Nightcrawler was stabbing people with his tail and people were fucking fucking everywhere. Raquel, if you were an X-Men, what would your power be? Oh, I haven't thought about this. Can you give me a sec? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a second. Okay, okay. While you do that, let's show a scene from X-Men The Last Stand. Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, bitch! Hey, what were you talking about? Sophie Turner! Okay. Uh, my power would be to... And, and Dark Phoenix took it from me, but I would like to read minds mm -hmm. and know what people were going to do. Like, know exactly what their like next physical action would be so I could stop it. What's yours? Oh, I would kill boners. Don't you do that now? Okay. Raquel. Yeah. <laughs> Raquel. Yeah. Raquel, who is your favorite <laughs> X-Men in the entire movie? The X-Men pop star. What were her powers? She literally just sang at a bonfire party. And I loved it. She was protected by this, like, glow. And I don't know who provided the glow. Uh, her name's Dazzler. It and must she's be. an X-Men who is a pop star and can dazzle you. She was only on for like maybe 10 seconds of the mm. entire show, but maybe what, less. What What? a commanding performance. Oh my God. She was actually singing and like trying. I loved it. Not like she, the rest of the movie. She... <laughs> she... <laughs> she... <laughs> yeah, she... I'm pretty sure pretty she sure she died away. at some point. Pretty sure. It's unclear. Watch yeah. the movie and you tell us, did... It did X-Men right Popstar now. die? Did X-Men Popstar die? Let us know. Out of the hundreds and thousands of superhero movies that are saturating the market, what would you give this out of 100,000? Mm, oh, out of 100,000? Yeah, like 100, a 000. 60. Wow! Normal people will be like, out of 10, what do you think this is? Mm -hmm. I would say like a 5 or a 6. Mm -hmm. So I, in, in comparison to an 100,000, I don't know, mm -hmm. I'm bad at math. Mm -hmm. I don't know why my hands look like this, mm -hmm. but I, it, it, I would not uh, see it again. People can listen for you on Dragon Prince on Netflix. Yeah, watch the Dragon Prince on Netflix. Season two is out. Season three is is not out. Is it but announced though? Can we announced it? it. We don't know when it's coming out, but uh, stay tuned for it. And what's it. your character's name? Blue Blorp with the Blue Blorps? Blue Blorp with the Blue Blorp is my character's name. Yeah, great. Claudia is my character. You'll it. know when you watch it. You'll know when you hear the character that sounds like they smoke five packs a day. But I don't. Anymore. Ow. See you next time. Bye.